Hey guys, so today I have a product haul. I have some drugstore makeup, uh, a few things from Sephora, and one bath product bath slash shower product. For starters, I'll just do the bath product. Um, I bought this Beauty and Planet body wash. Um, I had seen this advertised all over Instagram and I just thought, oh, like that, okay, that looks nice, moving on. But then uh, I was in search of a new, a new body wash and I saw this on display at Superstore on one of those little end displays and I was like, you know, I think I'm gonna try this. So, it is, it has coconut oil, and this one has ylang ylang, and it has plant-based cleansers. It's not tested on animals. Uh, it's an ultra mild cleanser. It's vegan. There are no sulfates, no dyes, no parabens, no guilt, and it's 100% recycled plastic. So you kind of can't go wrong. There aren't many scents. There are only three. I only smelled two of them. The lavender one seemed a bit too strong for me. This is the coconut ylang ylang, ylang tropical hydration. I love coconut and vanilla sort of scents, so I went with this one. And then there was also a floral one, a pink one. I don't know. I didn't smell it. Um, I smelled it. I smelled this one, and I loved it, so I bought it, and I really, really like it. You can You get a lot. It's a pretty big bottle. No idea how much this costs. I did not look at the price. I just bought it. So next is Sephora. Sephora had like their 15% off sale like for VIB and Rouge customers. They have a sale in the spring that's for 15% off and then they have a sale in the fall that's for 20% off. I wasn't gonna buy anything because I thought you know what I don't need anything and I'm trying not to spend a lot of money so I wasn't gonna get anything but I got an email saying there's one last day for 15% off and I was like Let's just have a little peek because I was like, you know, I'm, I want to get a few things anyway um, So I might as well Just get them when they're 15% off because I'm gonna order them the next time I place an order anyway and For starters, that's the Sephora avocado Sleeping mask. I've tried a few of these sleeping masks before I've tried the green tea one, which I really like. I've tried the pearl one. I've tried the pomegranate one. And then I tried this one. And it's it's really small, like this little disc pops out. So you get that much. But I get at least four uses out of this. Maybe I just don't slather enough on. I don't know. I put this on. This is the nourishing and repairing one. And it doesn't get all over the place because it isn't like a thick... It's not the same as like a face mask. That you rinse off or you peel off this it kind of does sink into the skin in the morning if you do rub it it feels like there is something on there but you just wash it off and this makes my skin feel so soft and just look like I had a great sleep and my skin just looks really nice and nourished I guess nourished and nourishing and repairing it looks nourished and it looks repaired and then I know I've mentioned this before this is the uh, Sephora micellar cleansing milk which I didn't even I forgot I had a little bit left of this I have to use this still um, so I really really enjoyed this this one made my face feel really hydrated and I like these better than um, the Garnier I use the Garnier not that the Garnier is bad it doesn't really leave a film on my face but I don't know this is coconut I just like it. it. This is the soothing and relaxing. I found that it made me feel really hydrated. Um, so I like this one. So then I went ahead and tried a different one. So I was like, okay, I'll get the pomegranate one. So the pomegranate is anti-fatigue and energizing. Hmm. I didn't know that's what it was. So this time around, I wanted to try another one. So I ordered the yellow one. This is Yuzu. And this is revitalizing and toning because honestly, I just feel like that's where I am in life. I need this all to be revitalized and toned. I also ordered another one of these concealers. Um, this is the Bright Future Gel Serum Concealer. Now I have this one in a shade lighter, but I found it was too light. So I went ahead and I ordered this in buttercream. I love the color. I use this all over my face, underneath my eyes. I do find that it does tend to crease a little bit, but 
just before you set with powder make sure you really blend it so there's no creasing set it with no creasing it still kind of creases a little to smoke out your under eye and hide it a bit whenever you order from Sephora you get samples um, so I ordered a couple foundation samples that I haven't tried yet but this I tried today this is a little perfume this is the um, Atelier Cologne Vanilla Incense. I don't know it's vanilla it's so soft I put it on today and Nick walked in and he's like, oh, it smells so good in here. And I'm like, oh, is it me? Is it me? Smell me. And um, he's like, ooh, that smells really nice. And if Nick thinks I smell nice and if I feel like I smell nice, then I'm going to want to use this again. It's so, it's kind of, I don't know. It reminds me of this perfume that my mom has. Like some of the notes of it remind me of the perfume that she has and I really like it. But then added vanilla which I love everything vanilla so I really like this Let's see how long this little sample lasts next is drugstore makeup so I went to the post office to pick up this Sephora stuff I went there yesterday and while I was there I noticed there were a few things on sale at shoppers ah, I couldn't resist so I bought a few things um, a couple things that I had been wanting to try that just happened to be on sale so I went ahead and bought them and then uh, I needed another eyebrow pencil, so of course I had to get an eyebrow pencil. So I've been really liking the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer. Um, I do like, I like the Benefit eye pencil, and then I like the next one, and then I like this one. But I found that I just like go through this so quickly. I just bought this and already I'm nearing the end of it. And that's just not working for me. So I went and then I'm like, well, maybe I should get the NYX one. I went and I really looked and the NYX one has 0 0.003 ounces, whereas the L'Oreal only has 0 0.002. And so it's only two thirds of what this is, yet they're the same price. And I go through this one like rapidly, whereas this one lasts a little bit longer. And that's because this one is a little bit harder um, whereas this one's a more soft waxy kind of so you have to like build it up But I do find that this one you can be more precise with so this is the NYX Micro brow pencil in taupe. They're both in taupe um, So yeah, mascaras. Okay, so I actually bought this one. So this is the essence volume stylist uh, Mascara I had heard about this one from Tati and then my friend Sarah recommended that I try it out so I did and I do really like it so this is a fiber releasing extension brush and I do find that I find that it does extend my lashes which make them look really fluttery and just really pretty but I don't know it's really clumpy like can you it, it, it's really clumpy and I don't know if it's just the one I bought like maybe Maybe I just bought like an old batch, but like it's really, really clumpy. You really have to wipe it off or it's like clump city on your eyelashes and it is a little bit dry and it's hard to get off at night. I don't think I would use this every day just because it's a pain to get off every night, but this is nice. This like ma it makes your lashes look really nice. So it is worthwhile to wear it maybe on special occasions. So then I went and bought the Maybelline Total Temptation. I was going to get the other the lash paradise really love that mascara but holy moly drugstore makeup is not cheap it's the popular drugstore makeup that I'm attracted to is similarly priced to the cheaper stuff at Sephora that's why I took advantage of the sale so this one was on sale uh, this is the total temptation I'm wearing this today I don't know if you can really see it doesn't make my lashes look longer but it separates them nicely and it's nice and black I really like the wand it's easy to apply it's not messy at all I'll have to use it a few more times I really like the packaging it's really cute so yes I like this one then on my lips I went with Rimmel I love this I put this on alone and I was like oh that's a good color. I This might be my new favorite lip liner. It's not a retractable one, so I mean you will have to sharpen it, but it's soft enough to not feel really dry, but it's like hard enough that it doesn't feel smeary. And then this is the Rimmel, what kind is this? 
the only one matte lipstick and this is in keep it coral so I'm wearing this with the lip liner combo today I really like this color now this lipstick it goes on is really mm, it went on really creamy now it feels it still feels really soft it's very comfortable it's nice it's matte and it smells fruity so far my first impression of it is it's pretty bomb so my last thing is the Maybelline dream cushion liquid foundation on the go and I got this in classic ivory which was a little bit dark I blended it down my neck and then I highlighted with concealer but um, I love this so much this is so easy to apply and it has nice coverage super easy to blend it sat on my nose so nicely I struggle with that area so much and it's super convenient you just like to put a little sponge out but you just open this up and dip your beauty blender in and go you do get less of this in here than you would with um, with like a, a bottle how much trying to see how much you get in here so you get half an ounce where usually you get closer to an ounce in a bottle so that's a downside the other downside is how expensive it is this is like $21 which for a drugstore foundation is it's just it's getting so expensive so I've been looking at at this for a long time because I heard really good things about it but I just I couldn't I couldn't take the plunge um, but I did yesterday because it was on sale for 14 so I was like oh, seven bucks off oh yeah I'm gonna get it and I did and there's no looking back now. I really, really like this. Um, well, I like it so far. I've had it on for like an hour. So we'll see how it is throughout the day, but first impression, dang, this stuff is really good. So that's everything that I bought in this beauty haul. If you have any product recommendations, please leave it down below. I still am going to try Pixie. I swear, Sarah, I will. I just haven't taken the plunge yet. Uh, let me know of any other products I should try. And yeah subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.